Alright hey guys, we are back on Jameson and Starfield here. So, I have uh, captured two of the Varun ships and I had upgraded them and modified them. This is one here. I want to say this is the Hem, but um, we're going to take a look at the modifications I did. I believe I made this one a B-Class. Um, still has some A-Class engines though. Let's take a look at what we got here. So, um, oh, okay, it just says U.S. Navy cargo. That's weird. Because it was... Okay. So, here's what we got. We got a... Dogstar 39 generate, power generated um, Class B mag inertial reactor. Then we have the Relodyne uh, 3000 beta drive. I don't know if that's the best B class... Um, I don't build a lot of B-Class, so I don't know if it's the best one. It's the one I picked. Then we have a Vanguard Shield. Um, probably the best B-Class Shield. Again, I don't build a lot of B-Class ships. Um, A-Class engines, four of them. Um, they're two power each. And then I have one B-Class engine that's a three power, giving me 100 mobility and a top speed of 140. So, um, could have put these B engines here, but they don't have like the angular variant that these A engines have. Um, down below, we have our Stroud Eklund landing bay. It goes into a storeroom. And then this goes into a science lab that has a door right here. It goes into a storeroom. And then this goes into a ladder into this all-in-one berth. And then there is a ladder that goes up into the captain's quarters. And then there's a control station. And then there is a Viking CP220 Stroud Eklund cockpit. Um, I, I believe it says, what, a berth, science lab, captain's quarters, and a control station. Okay. Um, it's just weird. Um, let's... Change that to, to a workshop. I'd rather have a workshop than a science lab. I'm not sure why I did that. So then we have four of these Firebolt 4000 suppressors. Then we have uh, my favorite, the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors. They are Class A, and you can have six of them. So, and then um, not my normal turrets I use because they are Class C. So these are some PVO 100 Auto Neutron turrets. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, it was the best turret that wasn't ballistics that seemed to go find. Um, this came with these fuel tanks for kind of like wing mount system here. So I left them. I tried to keep the main design of the, um, of the ship like I could. Um, we got our docker, we got some portholes. So, yeah, so that's this one that I redesigned. In the video I released, um, earlier... We'll look at that ship because I made some modifications to it and I'm still not still not completely sold on it. So this was the Frontier, the lighter fighter that I made. Oh, that last one um, doesn't have a lot of cargo. With my perks, it has 420. So um, this is the first ship I built, um, like a light fighter. Well, in, the, in this run through. Um, this one has 3,037 cargo, but what I did was I removed four of these uh, 6830 Slate Narrow Space engines, and I put four of these um, Class A Slate Narrow Space engines that kind of make out the wings. So I had to drop a lot of cargo. I had it on like 7,000 cargo, but I got 97 mobility. I have some shielded cargo, and I kind of, you know, trimmed it up. You know, check out the last video to see what it looked like before, but I made it a little slimmer, um, a little sleeker with the smaller engines. Um, got rid of all the under cargo that I had um, because I just, I was overweight and it was like in the 60s or 70s in mobility. So the only real cargo here is these, two of these cargo holds and then the shielded cargo. So, you yeah. know. So I upgraded this, and then today I built 
Um, I can't commandeered one of these. I don't know why it says Navy A Cargo. It's weird. So I commandeered one of these mage ships, as I like to refer to it. Um, and I made it flow on the inside. So I replaced a lot of the halves and I forced ladders with one by one companion ways. So you kind of walk through it. It's still like a maze, but it's, you know, you don't have to backtrack on yourself to, to get up to the cockpit. I upgraded the bridge to uh, the Contiki, uh, the, the best one Shroud Eklund makes. Um, added some portholes. This is at the module max limit. I might be able to put one more on there, but it was when I was putting portholes on. So, again, I used the Vanguard auto projectors and then two sets of turrets. Um, 6,000 cargo. So, this is like a cargo hauler. It's got six of the 6830 engines on it. It's got a Class C gamma drive. And then it's got the shear flow reactor. So, docker over here. So, you, you come in through the side landing bay from Stroud Eklund into this one by one. Um, and then you come directly up to this third layer down here and then you would walk through here walk over here and then you would go up and then you could walk to the bridge so it cleared up that maze gave this um, 98 mobility a lot more cargo uh, so it's it doesn't handle well but it, it has the turrets so if you need to move a lot of cargo you know um, with my perks, what does it have? 9,000 cargo, so you can uh, move a lot of stuff. Um, you can actually add, um, if you, like, it's 98 mobility now. If I was to add just some cargo to it, um, you know, it drops down to 88 mobility, which is, which is still not bad, and you get 7,000. You know, there's almost 10,000 cargo at 80 mobility. That's about what I run with these engines. If I build a big ship, I'll run this um, this amount of cargo, about 9,000 cargo, and then I'm normally good to go. Let's shove this in here. And I realize now that the portholes aren't actually connected to halves. There you go. So now we have 80 mobility. I can remove these. Because they're not, I was looking for the portholes for directional purposes and I forgot everything is like enclosed around like midsections and, and stuff. So let's select all. Let's paint it real quick. And there we go, all the cargo matches. And if we look at it now, what? Oh, it's going to be landing gear. All right, so delete. Oh, no. Delete. Delete. Okay, duplicate. There we go. And now we are good to go. So, like I said, I captured this ship. It, it's, it's a maze to run through. So now it's got 13,000 cargo. It still has 80 mobility, 12 crew, which is more than you can actually have. Um, good shields, um, good defensive systems. I, I wanted to make this, you know, so as it's floating out in space, it can defend itself. Let's take a look at this one here. It's a big boy. Big girl, whatever you want it to be. So it's got the side entry, four tall. So four units tall, come in through a door here, immediately into a one by one. And then we have our ladder going up, only one ladder. So, and then we are in a control station and we will come right through this door here we are in a battle station so and we will circle around through here and then we have our mess hall we come through the mess hall into here 
this little one by one until I force the ladder in this location. Come up here, walk around this uh, two by one uh, all in one berth. And then we come to the brig. So only one way to go from here. I don't think there's a door in there. No, there's not a door in there. So I like that brig, how it has like a mini armory in it. So then we come up, we're in the workshop and then there's the armory here. And this takes you up to a, another one by one goes this way into this two by one here it's got a door here that takes you to the bridge so there's the bridge and then it has and then this is the living quarters and then we have a door over here that takes us to a, another battle station so it's got the nav map in it and things like that. Um, and then this goes to the infirmary. We can circle back around, go down this ladder, come around here. Oh, there's something over here. Um, looks like the science lab. And then we, this way. So it, it's still not great, but it, if you know the pathway, you can get, you can get through the ship a little quicker than the, the mess that it was before. And, and next time I will do a quick video of what the ship looks like before I um, upgrade it. Because I realized after I done the second one, I probably should do that. So let's take a look at you need to offload? Sure. How about this it? other ship here. And that other one, it flies like a brick. Um, as you, as it looks, it flies exactly how it looks. So this one. I forget what side it's on sometimes and it's in the back here but there's not much to get up into it so we got a one by one over here um, this is or I'm sorry this is the one by one you go into a workshop but this room right back here is nice because people don't hang out in it and you can drop resources on the ground instead of loading up the cargo bay and you know and then transport them places so this goes into a two by one berth and then from the workshop we go into a captain's quarters i need to find a better captain's quarters i like i don't like this wall right here i would rather have a bunk there because when you have a ladder and people stand here and you can't get through so maybe put it in a different position or, and then here we are in that cockpit let's take this one up because it's it flies like i said the other one is just it's mainly uses the turrets to defend itself or this one does have turrets but this one you can you know it's good for taking over ships it's it maneuvers better. Oh. Alright. So, we don't have any engine power. So with my perks, I have 45. Um, and we can even power up the turrets. You know, if you're not going to board a ship, power down the EM power up the turrets if you don't really so you know the top speed is 167 which is weird because it says 140 a little over 600 630 627 so 
definitely handles a lot better. It's a pretty cool fighter. Um, so I'm going to be using this to get my next ships and um, see how it goes. But let's let's land back down here and we're going to wrap it up. I don't really get into the nitty gritty. I just, you know, because every time I new game plus, I lose all my ships and I like to have a record of what the ship looks like. So I made a video of what the ship looks like. So it's more of a record keeping purposes because you can't save your ships or anything and you do a new game plus and you lose your ship and then you're like, hey, I had a great idea. How'd I build that? And then you don't have any record of it. So now I have a record of it. So there we go, um, a modification on my last video, and then these two Varun ships that I commandeered in the Sepenta system and did some upgrades on, and um, in my opinion, made them a little bit, little bit better, a little more streamlined. And um, the layout's not great in the other one, but it's still um, better than it was because you would go up, down. You'd have to go up to go down to go back up three times. It was it was a nightmare. But that's gonna do it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and everyone have a fantastical day.